Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add another account to Microsoft Authenticator. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Authenticator application, which of course I have done right here. As you can see, a couple features here that you can navigate to have an exciting time in the Authenticator app. But before we proceed, I'd like to show you or I'd like to tell you where you can find the Authenticator app. You can find it on Google Play Store or Apple Store. After downloading and installing the application, follow through with the on-screen prompt to sign up. After signing up successfully, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have an exciting time in the Authenticator app. So now that we can let's hop into today's text again, which is how to add another account to the Microsoft Authenticator app. Now from this homepage, all you need to do is to check the top right corner of your screen. You're going to find three icons. You're going to find the plus icon, search bar, and the three dots menu. So you like to go ahead to click on the plus icon. It's going to take you to this window where it says, what kind of account are you doing? Personal account, worker school account, other accounts, which include Google, Facebook, or etc. So go ahead and choose a personal account, a work account, a school account, however, whatever account you want to add. So once you get there, you click on that, it's going to take you to this window that says add personal accounts. So number one, you have two options, one signing with Microsoft or scan a QR code. Now, how do you get the code to scan? In your desktop, go ahead and launch in the browser of your choice. and. In the search bar of your browser, go ahead and type Microsoft, Microsoft Authenticator. Now that's going to take you to the official website. Once you get in there, you're going to see the code that you can scan for Android and iOS. Now, once you scan the code, you can definitely sign up or add a new account in your Authenticator application. Now, this other way, which is to sign in with Microsoft, just click on that and that's going to take you to the sign in page. So all you need to do is to just follow through with the prompt, enter your email and click next. So after you click on next, it's going to take you to the password area where you have to enter the password, ensure it's correct. And once you do that, that's just going to be it. You're going to be asked to verify the account and after verification, you'll be able to add another account. So this is pretty much the process. You can go for this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped you search.